should have seen it. Eagles on the gateposts and a drive that was big enough to land a jumbo jet on. <laughs> you know, I had to speak into an intercom to be admitted. Who else? Well, I thought I was talking to the housekeeper. Hello, she said. Can I help you? When I asked for Mrs. Van Cleef, she said, Oh, this is she. <laughs> this is she. Hey, that's how you do it, Rita. <laughs> you know, they used to publish the Gazette and quite a few other, you know, small papers under their umbrella. Shall I help myself? No, I'm coming. <laughs> it was terrible what happened. I've forgotten exactly how she died, the daughter. But you will have heard all this on the local news. It was an accident of some description, I know that. While she was abroad. Who's this? Does the name Van Cleef mean anything to you? I bet he'd a Van Cleef. Lindsay? Keith. Keith Van Cleef? Yeah. He was a cousin, I believe. Yeah, he was an editor on a weekly newspaper over in Rochdale. You're forever raking him out of the pub. I got him the last time. They're like the Astors or, or the Vanderbilts. What was it called? You know, that, that era, the fancy New York lot. The, the Gilded Age. There was a film, Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, my left foot. No, 19th century, New York. Gangs of New York. No. Lawrence was married to a Van Cleef. Today is the anniversary of her death. I've done some digging. She met something of an untimely end. You know, that rings a bell. A skiing accident. Or was it hiking? Took a tumble on the Alps. Correct, George. Fell to her death during a hiking holiday in Switzerland. And you're misinterpreting this how? Don't you see? He has been very quiet about it. I mean, Sean was completely in the dark at the beginning, remember? Lawrence didn't even volunteer that he'd been married. Now this, a death in mysterious circumstances. The poor woman was killed in a tragic accident when she's supposed to be enjoying her holiday. You said it. Killed. Oh, Lord above, Todd. First you sit your tongue down his throat, now you've got him bumping off his wife. His wife, who may or may not have known about his true nature. He knows he's gay, but he can't admit it. Finds himself trapped in a, in a marriage to a wealthy heiress, books them a little alpine holiday, takes her up to the top of the mountain, and oh, oops a daisy, gives her a little nudge. Voila, he's got life insurance coming out of his ears. Next thing you know, he's down Canal Street on a podium. Drinks are on me. What other explanation could there be? You are getting very cynical in your old age. My mum is rubbing off on you. Me cynical? Yeah, you're too trusting, you're na naive. Look, don't you go breathing a word of this crackpot conspiracy to Sean, or you'll end up with more than a bowl of cornflakes in your face. He could be getting into bed with a psychopath. Look, look, just get on the phone to Mrs Buchanan first thing in the morning, or we'll be Betty and her husband in his socks. Thank you very much. Give my love to your wrath. Try. Uh. I've uh, thoroughly cleaned the carpet, you'd be pleased to know. So you should. You threw it. I see. Todd's back. I've actually got some information that you might want to hear. I doubt that very much. It's about Lindsay Van Cleef. How she met her end. Well, Lawrence can tell me that when Lawrence is good and ready. It was actually all over the internet if you'd have cared to look. Yeah, well, I didn't have any need to, did I? Yeah, well, I'm sure you will now. I'll have um, half when you're ready. Well, anyway, my phone's dead, so even if I did want to look, which I don't, I... I'm just worried that you might have got into bed with the wrong man. Look, Todd, he rejected you, OK? Lawrence is my boyfriend, mine. Oh, something's afoot. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'll drop it. Just have a look when you get home, all right? Lindsay Van Cleef, death of. It was in all the local papers, and if you decide you can't wait, I'll be over there with my drink if you eventually pour it. Say. Well, what did you say? I said, you're not borrowing my phone until you tell me why. And what did he say to that? Well, what could he say? Right, come on then. Let's hear it. This is terrible. See? It's all there. 
the mysterious circumstances, the paucity of concrete information, paucity means shortage or lack, the implication, the illusion. The woman died. I helped him buy flowers this afternoon. He's devastated. Devastated or guilty? You're unbelievable drink up, Todd. I know this is a shock to you. The only thing I'm shocked about is the depths that you're willing to sink to. Like I say, get out. You haven't got the authority. Is this what you do? You just go around and destroy people's relationships? Is that what you were put on this earth this for? This isn't about me. Billy and Paul, Jason and Eva. That was years ago. You see a couple and you destroy it. That's what they should call you, the couple destroyer. Oh yeah, really trips off the tongue. And I'll tell you for why. Because you're jealous. You cannot stand to see anybody else happy because you know that you never will be. Nobody wants you, Todd. You're toxic. Fine. Suit yourself, Sean, to your funeral. Be sure to count on Shuttleworths.